In this chapter, we're going to look at the way sound passes through Zeta. There are two things you need to understand in order to use a synthesizer. How the signal flows through the instrument, and the function of each device the signal flows through. Cakewalk built in a diagram of the signal flow. Click on the Cakewalk logo to open it. You can see the sound starts at the oscillators, flows through the filters, and down through the effects section to the output. Really, it's a three-step process. Then off to the side, you have these control parameters, like the envelopes and LFO. In other words, the oscillators and filters create the sound. Everything else controls the sound. Let's start with the oscillators. Sound is made up of waves, and waves are created when something vibrates back and forth, like a tuning fork. Another word for a vibrating object is an oscillator, and that's where the sound begins in Zeta. The shape of a wave determines how it sounds. Sine waves and square waves tend to produce rounded, mellow tones, and sawtooth or triangle waves produce buzzy sounds. In general, the sharper a waveform looks, the sharper it sounds. Now, most synthesizers give you half a dozen choices of wave shapes and leave it at that. But Zeta is a wave shaping synth, so wave shapes and the ability to control them are at the very heart of the system. So if you open the wave menu by clicking on the single arrow, you'll see there are eight wave families, with as many as eight subtypes each. In all, Zeta comes with more than 60 wave shapes, and you have the ability to store more. After you've made edits to one and created something you really like, you can right-click in the graphic editor and select Save Wavetable. On the left side of the window, there are some basic controls. You select the waveform that you want to start with, then you have a double arrow control for transpose by musical half step. And remember, this is a double arrow control, so you can't open a menu. You have to step through the options by left clicking or right clicking at the name. And if you keep clicking, it will cycle back to the start. Click both mouse buttons at once to reset it to the default value. We'll come back to mode and group in just a second. Down below, there are a few more basic controls for power fine-tuning and level. And don't forget that up here you can enable up to six separate oscillators. Just select an oscillator, click on the power button, and pick out a wave shape. And each one gets its own tuning and its own level adjustment. Now this bottom control, the last one, flips back and forth between phase and spread depending on the mode, which we'll talk about in just a moment. We said that sound is created by a wave. A sound wave has crests and troughs, just like an ocean wave. And when two sounds play at the same time, how closely those crests line up is called its phase. Now we care about this because when waveforms slide in and out of phase, you get really cool sounding effects. In fact, one of the all-time classic effect boxes for electric guitars is called a phaser. If we jump over to the effects page, look at modulation, Zeta has four phaser effects built in. So when two waveforms line up, they're said to be in phase. And when they slide off of each other so that the crest of one lines up with the trough of the next, they're said to be 180 degrees out of phase. And if the waveforms are identical, the result will be silence. This is actually how noise-canceling headphones work. They generate a duplicate of the incoming signal, but they flip it upside down, or 180 degrees out of phase. So the mode control lets you choose between eight different phase settings. They're spelled out in detail on page 21 of the user guide, but they all have to do with whether or not the phase is normal or inverted. If you see N in the name, it means it's normal, and if you see an I, it's inverted. And the other references to sync or free have to do with how they're lined up. Bottom line, you'll have to experiment with them to get a feel for their effect on your sound. The group control lets you choose what to do with the output of this oscillator. Remember, you have up to six oscillators to play with, Group gives you the ability to use one oscillator to control another one. The default mode is Add, and when Add is displayed, the output is simply added to the output bus and played as a sound. These other modes use the output from one oscillator to modulate or adjust the output of the other oscillators. For example, in PM mode, or phase modulation, the output or waveform of this oscillator controls the phase of the next oscillator, and so on. As you get more comfortable with Zeta, it's worth coming back and experimenting with these settings for very subtle adjustments. The biggest area here is called the shaper. 
and it lets you see and manipulate the waveform by clicking and dragging. If you want more specific control, there are 16 transformations along the right-hand side. So if you want to twist the waveform, click and drag the twist control and see how it sounds. If you want more detail about what each transformation does, they're spelled out on page 27. But here are a couple of very cool ones. The bit red or bit reduction is handy for lo-fi grit. And by the way, don't forget to glance over at the master section when making adjustments. You see how this calls out the bit red control as bit crush, and that makes it a little more obvious what the control is for. You should also experiment with the random all and random odd controls, which add harmonics and gives you a lot of sonic color in a hurry. And after you've applied a transformation, you can come back into the shaper with your mouse and adjust it further. You can also right click in the shaper and select reset to start over. And all of these transformation controls can be assigned to your MIDI controller by right clicking and selecting MIDI Learn. Finally, you have a Filter 1, Filter 2 control. This adjusts how much of the signal for this oscillator goes to each of the buses. Remember that you have six oscillators, and each one has its own filter balance adjustment. We have one last area to explore in the oscillator, and that's the performance section. Basically, this is where you set up how the pitch bender behaves and where you control portamento, also known as glide. Bend mode gives you the options for high or low, where only the highest or lowest note of a chord respond to the pitch bender. Bend up and down set the range of the pitch bender. The bend scale is very cool, and as far as I know, this is unique to Zeta. This lets you force the pitch bend to stay within a given scale to prevent sour notes. So in chromatic mode, it behaves like any other pitch bender. But in minor, for example, the pitch bender will jump between the tones of a minor scale. And that scale will be based on whatever you set in the bend root window. The analog section lets you simulate vintage analog gear by adding a burst of DC offset each time you press a key, and by allowing the tuning to drift off randomly as time goes by. By far, the most interesting part of the performance section is the XY pad. This device lets you control any two parameters in Zeta by clicking and dragging. Or, if you enable the joystick option, by moving any joystick configured in the Windows control panel. The speed control determines how quickly the X and Y pad reacts, like this. To assign what you want the XY pad to control, drop down to the modulation matrix. Now, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but in a nutshell, you have to configure the XY pad as a source and then route it to a specific destination or what you want it to control. So if I set up the source as XY, X, and XY, Y, increase their range so they'll be effective. I can skip the control for now. I can skip the curve for now. And then let me set their destination for cutoff and filter resonance. Then I can drag around the XY pad for all kinds of cool effects. And here's a very cool trick. If you right click and hold, it will jump around randomly based on the speed setting. One last note, the performance section affects all six oscillators as a group. Okay, let's move on to the next chapter and look at filters.